What's up, beautiful people? We are Scalp Logic, and today's topic we want to talk about how to tell if you have a botched job, a botched scalp micropigmentation yes. or subtle P, whatever it might be. Yes. Uh, so, you know, first and foremost, I think most people can identify a really bad, harsh yes. botched job that yep. looks like a, a Lego head or whatever mm -hmm. label you want to put on it. So, what we really want to dial in is it, it's almost the standard in our industry, isn't it? Yes. In our eyes, people are being botched every day, and people are building businesses off of this, this standard off this like model of what essentially looks good. So we're talking about like the 70% of people that are wondering and kind of towing the line is, am I botched or am I not? And trust us, we get so many pictures where people are like, am I botched? And for us, it's like, uh, yes, how can you not tell? But you know, a lot of times we think that it may be denial. There may be so many different reasons. There's a lot going on. There's but a lot going on. let's dig in on exactly what classifies botched. Okay. So we're gonna say there's four key things you can look at. Yes. Okay, let's start with number one then. Yes. Number one is the dot size yes. and the impression size. Yes. This is one of my favorite topics. To me, it's yes. so obvious. Yeah. Again, you know, what constitutes looking natural? To me, it's so simple. Yeah. It's black and white. Is yeah. the impression size, and can you see them first of yep. all? Are they the same size as the remaining hair stubble? Yeah, as your natural stubble, does it look comparable or is it way larger than what you naturally have? That's right there, that's a dead giveaway that something is off. I'll just say uh, um, a trick, you know, whatever it is, uh, people show the immediate result yeah. and you think you see the dot size, but you know, that's why we're always saying, look at the healed results. Yes. You know, we're talking a week, two yes. weeks, a month, two months, two yeah. years afterwards, are you still seeing these impressions? Because yeah. a lot of times you'll see them on the instant result and they won't stay there. And I would also say in the blending, right? Like if they have blended and you see on the side, they'll go down on the side and you'll be able to compare what your stubble looks like with that impression. If that impression, excuse me, is really large compared to that, that's a dead giveaway that there's something, it doesn't look right. That does not proceed to be natural. Perfect. Yeah, which brings us into number two is the, the ink color and the yes. blending all around, right? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people, let me, this is a great example. A lot of guys, we get, you know, inquiries, they have just this missing. So yes. they think this is an easy job, but yeah. for artists, it's actually a very difficult job because if I'm supposed to put ink that looks like hair here and then match the rest of your head, I have to put ink in other areas as well. Yes. So it becomes Well, it's a difficult. hard job for us because we're blending it correctly and thinking of long term. But for other people, if you're going heavy handed just in that area, a lot of times it'll just cover really quick and you'll be like, all right. Well, it'll cover that area. But again, exactly. we're talking about the long blending and, yes. and the ink color, right? And, and again, we're based off the premise. This is scrutinizing it off of the premise that we're trying to make it look real. Mm -hmm. We're trying to make it look natural, which, you know, as a ball guy, why would you not want this to look real? It, it blows my mind right now. It blows my mind. People just don't know are they lacking awareness or they just prefer well I think again. it's like quick I'm like I could get in like a haircut be done with it and then that's it it's like out of my mind but the truth is it's really not out of your mind it's gonna be there and it's gonna be there for a long term okay so no that's another great one so number three then how does it look in all different settings yes. right again I tell you if you're a consumer if you have it done don't look at people's portfolios if they're showing just before and after yep. which is what 95% of the the people in the world, right, offering the service. And then I think other people are starting to put healed, but I'm like wondering how long is it healed? I'm sorry, I had to say it. Like, how long is it healed? We see you out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is fair it enough. a couple days? Is it a week? Like healed, we're talking about like long-term healed. At least months. months. At yes. least months we're talking healed to get a, a real uh, opinion. Exactly. That matters. But again, in all different settings at the beach, under this light, in a circle yes. light, right, you know, in a dark setting, you know, bring five different scenarios and then again, space it out between a month or so and how is that looking? Because it, 100% it's going to look different in all different well. settings, right? Mm -hmm. So does it look natural and real in all of them? Exactly. And then last one, this is close to you, right? This is. How do you feel is number four. How does yeah. it make that person feel that's wearing it? Because really at the end of the day, that's, that's all that matters. You're right? the one that's wearing it and you know, deep down you have that feeling that says, uh, I'm still wearing the hat, I don't want to go to the parties. You know that's an indicator that something's still off. You're still not comfortable. With subtle pigmentation, it sh you should be like, I'm here, I feel great, I feel open to the world. Nobody can tell that I've had this done. It's almost a mm -hmm. sense of liberation. And if you're still- No, it like, is, it is. Self-doubting yourself, that's an indicator something's off. And you know better than anybody else. Right, and again, guys, we're, we're, we're hearing this all over the place from guys that maybe got this done or already yeah. got this done. They're asking the right questions. So yes. uh, if, if this video means anything to you, we'd love to hear your comments. Okay, so we have three pictures that we wanted to kind of showcase on what we see as a complete botch job. I mean, hands down, 
Yeah, red flags. Okay. So this first picture was actually a client that came to us. Um, and just Done in New York? Done in New York. Okay. And you can see that the impressions, I mean, they are just huge. The, come on. Easy this enough. is like... And not only that, I, you know, when we're teaching people, I always say never put one. You put one impression that has a shadow around it, and you ruin this guy's head. And I see shadows all over the place. This is just one session or two sessions. I believe this was two sessions. Two, and after the first session, he was like, "Whoa, something is wrong." But then the practitioner said, "Oh no, the next one I'm gonna blend. Don't worry. You know, we're professionals. We got this type of deal." Yeah, that's exactly my first. Uh, the first thing that catches my eye is this is just ink sitting on you know the plate, and then exactly. how's it going to wrap into the rest of the hair? And okay. this right there is a really good indicator of every single one that we hit but especially number four is how do you feel you already knew mm. after the first session something was off and I think it's important to follow that instinct cool and so this is now a picture that you can okay yeah this is one of those it's pretty obvious it's so if you obvious. can't tell this doesn't it's not gonna look natural I don't know what to say to you but honestly you'd be surprised some people would still be like well now it's covering the hair loss you know like that's the first thing that they see but right. as you can tell there's absolutely no blending these impressions are horrible they're not even like it just come on this looks yeah. not at all yeah. natural all right cool and then this last one again to me it's so obvious that it's darker up front the straight lines the big impressions, it, it hits every box. What do, what do you think about this one? I'm right. just like baffled that this passes at work and I'm sorry, but it's it's just not right in so many different ways. This this already looks like a tattoo that you got in a garage. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Nicole's good at keeping me diplomatic. It, it, it hurts my heart, you know, that people just poop on this industry. And I'm talking about, again, 90% of people doing this, maybe 80%. I definitely see people out there. The standards are getting better, which warms my heart. Yeah. It's really cool to see. But um, it's tough to see people thriving and making tons of money. It seems like the heaviest marketers produce the, the crappiest standards. And I'm just trying to be honest out there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's hard and we don't want to ever come off as haters, but the truth is you don't understand how many emails we get of guys that lives have completely been, and I would say destroyed. That's a heavy word, but it's the truth because they don't want to go anywhere. First they were dealing with hair loss, and now they're dealing with like this semblance of this life that they know that they can have, but they don't have. Yeah, and yeah. it's hard. I'm, I'm sorry. That's it's disappointing to say the least. No, that, and we're doing our part to help. We hope this video yes. helps. We're trying to put the proof out. And again, we're not trying to disrespect anybody. Exactly. But if you're an artist and you're selling a service, you know, prepare to be scrutinized as we are as well. Yes. But, you know, this, again, that's why we use the word subtle pigmentation. Yeah. Most of the people are doing S and P. They're doing tattoos, yes. and it doesn't look real. So, uh, hope this video helps. Anything else to add? No, nope, that's it. Thank you. Have guys. a beautiful day, guys. Thank you so much for watching.